Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to show you how to create an Ajax and JavaScript based file uploader that doesn't use jQuery that you can use to upload files to your Apache web server. Before I kick this off, I just wanted to show you my setup here. I've got an Apache web server. It was part of a Bitnami stack install, but it's just a pure normal Apache web server with that htdocs folder in it. And in that htdocs folder, that's where I'm going to create my HTML file that's got my JavaScript and HTML file uploader in it. I'll call it .uploader.html. That's the name that I'm going to give the file. And that's going to run in the browser and provide an HTML5 file uploader to the user. And it will also send the request to the server using Ajax and pure JavaScript, no jQuery in this example. Now, when I kick things off, the first thing you want to do with any HTML5 file is just start it off nicely, make sure it's well formed, get your HTML tags, your body tags, even your title tag in there. That all looks handsome. Now that's really not that interesting. What's going to be interesting is an input field that is of type file. If you put this into your HTML pages, say input ID equals file type, ID equals file upload, type equals file, that's what's key. All of a sudden you'll get a file uploader in there. It'll have a button that'll allow you to select files on your file system and it will subsequently help you upload them to the server. So that's the cool HTML5 input file selector that they have. Now, of course, if you want to actually submit something to the server, you're going to need a button and uh, that will put the button in there. And you know, I could actually open up a browser window and type that URL in there, localhost uploader.html, and you actually see the choose file and upload option here that maps to the choose file uploader right there and the upload button right here. Um, but yeah, that's actually how it would look. So that looks pretty good, but it's fairly non-functional. We want that file to be saved to the server um, as soon as somebody clicks that upload button. So I'm going to implement a save file method that happens on this on click. That means having a little bit of a script tag in here. And that script tag is just going to respond asynchronously to that save file command. So I'll open up the script here. I'm going to end the script here. And then in the middle, I'm going to have this save file function. And this is what's getting called there. And I should probably close that bracket. And then inside here, what am I going to do? I'm first going to declare an instance of a form. So I'll create a new form data object to represent all of this form data that's coming in. Um, the file I'm going to have to append. Now notice that the name of the field is file upload. So I'm going to say form data dot append. So append to my form data that file. And I'm only going to have one file in this example. So that'll be file at zero. From there, I am going to asynchronously call on the upload.php file, which I'm about to create. Now, in order to upload a file, you need a resource in the server to capture that file and save it. And that's going to be the upload.php file. It's not going to be too intimidating, but I need to create that. And I'll create that in a moment. I'm going to call that through a post method. I'm going to pass all my form data. And that form data is going to include appended to it all the information about that file. Well, not just the information about the file, but the file. Um, all this is going to run in the client. It's going to run asynchronously when it all succeeds. I'm just going to send a little message out here. You can do as much Ajax as you want, update divs. I'm just going to do a little alert message as the file has been uploaded successfully. And that will conclude my JavaScript. Now, as I said, this is going to be pure JavaScript. It's not going to be any jQuery. It's not going to be any Dojo. It's just pure JavaScript asynchronously forcing that button to upload a file to the server when it's clicked. So I'm going to save that. Now, this is all going to get uploaded to a file named upload. So I'm going to create a new fol or a folder named upload. So I'm going to create a new folder called upload. And then I need a PHP resource on this server. I'm going to call it upload.php. And this is what is going to capture the incoming file. If I go back to this piece of code right here, you'll notice that 
it's calling on upload.php to handle the request. That's this file here. I need to code it. So it's going to be a PHP file. So you got to put in the standard PHP script in here. Let me see if I can kick it off. Start off with some PHP and then end that with the terminating PHP tag there. And then what are we going to do inside here? Well, first of all, I am going to get the name of the file that was uploaded. So I create a variable to hold the file name. It gives me the file name here based on what was being uploaded. I am going to save that file to this upload folder using that file name. So I create a variable representing that location there in the file name. I call it the upload folder slash the name of the file that was declared right here. And then I use some move uploaded file PHP razzle dazzle to take the file that's been uploaded. That's the file there and save it to this location that I've just specified. And if everything's successful, well, I just echo success, otherwise echo failure. I could handle that through Ajax, but on the client side, I'm just gonna upload and say, hey, everything was good. Um, but that's the PHP side of it, not what saves the file to that upload folder. You can see upload right there. Now I'm gonna open that upload folder and I'm gonna open my pure JavaScript file uploader here. That's the uploader.html file. I'm gonna choose a file. I'm gonna take a look at my friend Callie there. She's always taking selfies. I'll click this upload button and magically it gets uploaded to the server. I can take a look at the Viper there, upload a photo of the Viper. I could even go in here and take a look at my book Pickering of Springfield and upload that file as well. I could do all of this, I could do this all day long, just uploading files, and I could feel real good about myself knowing that this is really nothing more than just PHP on the Apache web server and pure JavaScript on the client. So that's how easy it is to create a pure JavaScript file uploader that sends files to the server asynchronously using Ajax. If you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. Got lots of great tutorials over there. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.